friends, thanks for clicking on this video. You're joining me for a very momentous day today because I'm saying goodbye to Zwift and I'm venturing into the great outdoors on my bike for the first time in six and a half weeks. Or I think it's 42 days, 46 days, 45 days. But if you can't tell already, I'm quite hyped for today. I'm, like My heart rate seems to be a little bit elevated and I've only had one cup of coffee this morning, but I'm already feeling quite antsy and just ready to get going. So I won't hold you here too long. We'll get out on the bike soon. That's what's happening today and I'm quite pumped about it. <laughs> To be honest, I haven't really been pushing myself to get out on the bike any earlier than this because I've ridden Zwift for the past one and a half weeks. I've done around eight rides and I just wanted to make sure that I was feeling fully comfortable and completely stable on the bike before I went outdoors because I didn't want to get out there too soon and feel like I was completely out of my depth and unstable and just frankly unsafe. I wanted to make sure I actually enjoyed going outside. So in order to do that, I've spent a little bit extra time indoors but it means that I feel completely ready to go outside and ride my bike. I set myself two requirements before I went riding outside. The first of which was to be able to walk without my crutch and to walk normally basically because I've been walking like a penguin the past couple of weeks or so um, just because my hip flexors and my glutes they haven't been properly activated so I've been limping a lot like this but now I'm walking much better because my glutes and my hip flexors are actually activating on a regular basis not just sporadically so I can walk around fairly normally. The second requirement was actually to be able to get my leg over the saddle height properly because in order to be able to get off the bike I need to actually be able to lift my arm leg demonstration over. number and one. My range of motion in my hip wasn't that good until recently so I wasn't able to get off the bike that easily I wasn't able to lift my leg fully arm demonstration number saddle. two and I didn't really want to have any unwelcome surprises in the form of crashing when I'm trying to get off my bike so that's feeling pretty and good and here now we I can have move my arm leg demonstration nice and number three heights. and also when you're riding indoors sometimes the movement can be quite restricted and you're only using certain muscle groups because obviously when you're out on the road you've got a lot more to control and there's a lot more stimulus and different things happening whereas when you're indoors you're just going up and down up and down so I've been really using certain muscle groups like it's been good to get my glutes and my hip flexors activated but still I feel quite awkward and like there are a few more parts of my body that I need to start moving around again so it'll be nice to get out on the road and hopefully feel a little bit more comfortable because when you've already got quite a weak area of biomechanics i.e my hip and then you're sitting on an indoor trainer it really just draws your focus to that weak area because there isn't really anything else going on so it'll be good to have more of an all-round balanced load on the body. So without further ado, let's get out there. I shall see you on the road. I think I'm going to join the Monday Climb Club bunchy this morning and hopefully make it a bit further than the coffee stop which I've been going to for the past two weeks. This might be a bit of a tight squeeze. <laughs> Skinny thoughts. Oh. And likewise with this kitchen sink. I haven't had to put this on my head in quite some time. Okay, now the next port of call, the glasses. Which ones am I going to wear today? I really like these Oakley Jawbreakers of mine. I've had these for a while now, but they're just a timeless classic. I think this is a classic cycling YouTuber's shot. 
I also made some banana bread yesterday, so I've got a little snack on the road because I don't know how long I'm gonna be out for, but I don't wanna get hungry. One small step for human, one giant leap for mankind. Is that how the saying goes? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> so far, so good having a whale of a time and it's been three minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> I want, I want to... <laughs> the camera's poised on you. Lovely. It's waiting for some gems. What is he gonna come out with next? Not much today, a couple of brain farts. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Yes! <laughs> We're the only ones with the This looks like the best one. Doing a lot of climbing today. <laughs> I'm gonna be there. You're gonna be the run. You're gonna run it. Yep. Yep. Done three minutes. Yep. Yep. Stop it. Nothing with. It's a pity. Out on the open road. We're out. <laughs> out in the wild. Everything for the shot. <laughs> Extra breathing resistance. <laughs> I'm sure it's a great shot when I can't quite see the screen. <laughs> Chief climber, Jack Ultra Cyclist on the prowl. Good job, guys. I did nothing you can take to stop you getting in. I see it's impossible to. I'm here at the front of proceedings, although I really shouldn't be. I'm a danger to myself, but more so everyone else. <laughs> I can almost see it. I dream I'm dreaming. Cue Miley Cyrus the climb. Look out, I'm on the comeback. Blending into the landscape there. Green on green on green. Oh, grand job.
30 minutes into the ride, feeling good. Surprisingly, I feel quite okay in the cardio department, but my leg isn't really keeping up with my heart and lungs, but we'll get there. It's only the first ride and I've been over some grippy little bergs, so I can't really push over those. But out of the saddle, I feel really good. Bit of a grind, getting this leg going over nicely and activating all the correct muscles. But in terms of outdoor bike riding, I feel completely normal. Handling, positioning, everything feels fine. It's now just about getting the body working well again, but very positive signs so far. Catch up with you later. As a side note, I am on Monday Climb Club, so it's probably quite an ambitious route to start off with when you haven't ridden up hills in a while and you haven't really ridden your bike in a while. But so far, so good. The hills are working as excellent activation for the muscles, I think. I might not do too many reps of the actual climb club climb, but this hilly warm-up lap is quite good training for me, I think. And we just try and do 20, 21 of these bad boys. 20, 20 to 21. 20 I, to might 21. Just, I might just lop the, I'm gonna lop the zero off that, I think. <laughs> We've made it to the climb. What actually is Monday Climb Club? What are we out here doing? This is my first attendance, by the way, so I'm just learning the ropes. <laughs> We're enjoying the art of climbing and suffering together as one, as a united community here in Girona. Fantastic. <laughs> I can't say any more. I can't add to that. It's fantastic. Up we go. Here we have Zippy, dedicated Climb Club member. I'm just going to give this chief climber a head start because I'm quite handy on the hills, especially with this hip, so... Come along, man. <laughs> Cheerio! After giving them a bit of a head start, I'm starting to circle in on the prey just up ahead there. Let's make the catch. Oh, that's a little stinger at the tail. Crikey, I think it's time to switch down to the small ring. We were on round two. I'm really feeling it now. It's been a lot of climbing so far. Jack's unfortunately gotten away on us up there. Alright, we'll slowly reel them back. We'll get them. Yeah. I'm gonna tell the vlog about how I'm feeling. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling okay actually. There's a leg. There's a little bit of a niggle happening in my hamstring when I got the steeper gradients. And I think that's because my glute can't quite handle the load yet. Mm -hmm. These 10% plus gradients are really getting to it, but besides from that. I feel good in the head, it's stingy enough. pretty good in the legs, and it's just nice to be out in the fresh open air. Nice, more to come. Yeah, oh yeah. It's tough going. I can see the, see the top. The end is in sight, and I actually feel better than the last rep. Whoop, whoop. So number three is gonna be a cracker. Full sand. You don't want to do too much too soon. Then it'll come back to bite you. So, slow and steady. Alrighty, that's three reps done now. I've just let the, the rest of the climb club cruise off into the distance, but I think that's enough for me today. It's pretty hot and sweaty work out here. And uh, my uh, cardiovascular system is really starting to feel it actually. That little 10% pinch towards the top was uh, starting to hurt. Oh, meow. There's Craig, climb club overachiever, trying to lap the field. 
I won't be doing that anytime soon. Um, but yeah, I'm going to uh, I'm going to leave the climbing here. Probably spin around on the flat for a little bit, and yeah, just to spin the legs out. I've done an hour three, 23 kilometers with a lot of elevation, so that's probably enough for one day. Go, Craig, keep it up. Whoa, absolutely hoofing. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my banana bread in the sun for a little bit, rehydrate, and then uh, head on back, probably do some stretching and some rolling because the body might feel it after this impromptu climbing session. It's probably not what you're supposed to do first ride back, lots of elevation, but hey, the muscles seem to be activating quite nicely now, so that's not a bad thing, but we'll probably keep it flat tomorrow, I think. Smoko break, time to tuck into the bee bread. Yummo scrummo. It's not an Ella Harris YouTube video without some eating involved. You all should be pleased that I didn't do another music dance montage while I was making this banana bread yesterday. The old show pony off the front there. <laughs> Craig has made the catch. I repeat, Hello, Craig has Hello, made the catch. Points. 20 Excuse my language. And the temperatures were still pretty cold. The scenery and the landscape wasn't that luscious. But now it's green everywhere. And it's a good 25 degrees or so. It's a bit of a weather shock. Although riding in Zwift with very minimal ventilation has prepared me well for this. About five minutes of my ride left now. I've just been spinning around the lanes for a while longer than anticipated actually. I'm nearly at an hour 50. Whoops. going to stop the Garmin here. <laughs> so I'm officially finishing my ride where all good rides should end. The bakery. I've got to bring home the bread. But I'll show you the stats from my ride anyway on my little mini Garmin because my big Garmin is still MIA. It's been missing ever since the crash but hopefully I'll get it back soon. Here are the stats from my ride, if you can see them. An hour 52, 46 kilometers. Average speed, 24.98, that's the climbing for you. Maximum speed, 75. Average watts, 165. Yeah, we don't really, whoa, maximum heart rate, 187, fresh. 802 meters of ascent. That's a good effort, I reckon. Now time to get some bread. Hi everyone, I'm just finishing off this video where I started it, back on the balcony, watching all the people below. Yeah. Not a good time to drop the GoPro. There are some people down there looking up at me. Anyway, thank you for sticking with me until this point. I hope you found it reasonably entertaining and I shall see you in the next video, which you have just as good an idea as I do as to what this next video is gonna be about. We shall see. Ciao. Catch you on the flip side.